What up, what up, what up, what up? Today we are gonna talk about something exciting to say the least. This is something that I've struggled with quite a bit in my past and I still do at times, but I've gotten a lot better and I believe it's a very important topic. We're gonna talk about how to master and control your emotions. What is up my fellow goal getter? Welcome back to another video and if this is your first time here, and you want to become a goal getter and learn how to dominate your life, be sure to hit subscribe and tap the bell notifications so that way you don't miss anything. We're getting started right now. So if you've been watching this channel for a while now, then you would know that uh, I could be competitive at times. Uh, hint the name, when was Zach? I like to win, all right? And I feel like everybody should win. We, we're born to win. You're either a winner or you're a loser, and who wants to be a loser? So I get really emotional at times, especially if someone's, I feel like if they're, they're assaulting my character in, in any way, shape, or form, if they're calling me out, or, um, you know, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm losing, I get, I get upset, you know, I get emotional. And this is something that um, I've had to work on because although this has helped me in so many areas of my life, I like being emotional like this because when you harness these emotions the correct and proper way and use them as energy to propel you forward, they can do wonders for you. But however, if you don't master and control them, they can really set you back in life and, and make things take longer than necessary than what they should. Um, I'm a firm believer in, in failing. You know, that's how we learn. But also, I'm a firm believer in learning from failing, learning from your mistakes. So we're going to talk about how to master and control these emotions. Emotional states, they empower you or disempower you. Whatever emotional state that you're in at any given time determines how you perceive your reality, which also ultimately depend, determines your decisions and, and your behavior. So how whatever emotional state that you're in at the time is literally empowering you or disempowering you. Now, think of emotional state, uh, your physi physiology is like um, hooked up like a, like a computer. All right, you got all the cords hooked up uh, to the internet to make sure everything's running properly. Each thing does a certain thing. That's like our physiology. If, uh, if we're feeling angry, uh, and and um, competitive at, at the right moment, like during uh, a sporting event or if we're trying to move something and we got to use force, that's a great emotional state for that. However, if we have that same emotional state when we're trying to work on a relationship with our spouse and we start to get into a heated argument and we're using this anger and, and then we perceive reality all wrong and then our decisions and our behavior gets messed up in the process and we end up doing things that we might have not even meant to do in the first place but being in that wrong emotional state causes us to bring on more problems within that relationship and ultimately within our lives. Now, now the cool thing is, is that emotion is created by motion. <laughs> yeah, emotion, motion, I know that's so cheesy. But anyways, it's created by motion. It's created by our body posture, our facial expressions, the, the things that we habitually do that we don't even consciously think about. Like, for instance, go to a crowded store and check out how many people have a huge smile on their face. Not a lot, <laughs> probably slim to none, and and that's you know that's the the state the habitual they're not even thinking about it you know they're just going around with the frowns on their face and going about their business but if you actually walk around with a smile like stop for a moment right now and smile like a big old you, do you feel that instantly how that changes your emotional state like if you're slouching in your chair right now sit up straight with correct posture. Do you notice that burst of energy, how it totally changes your whole entire physiology? That's how powerful motion is in controlling our emotions, how we can change it instantly. If you can habitually use your body in weak ways, you will feel weak. Like if you walk around sluggish and weak and tired and stuff, you're gonna feel weak and tired by the way that you habitually carry yourself. Another way that we can change our physiology instantly is by taking deep breaths and uh, like 
and, and I know it sounds silly and looks probably even more retarded than, than what it actually is, but this literally gives you energy and it puts you in the right state that you that that empowers you to go out and dominate your goals on a daily basis. Those deep breaths, smiling, like I challenge you to go into the mirror and smile for a minute, 60 seconds, five or six times a day, do that for a week and notice how you your your emotional states will change and how that will become more of a habitual pattern and and you will see tremendous positive impact in your life it may sound silly it may seem silly and it definitely looks silly but do it i dare you and the results are far from silly if you really want to improve your life learn to laugh for for no reason at all just start right now to start bugging up laughing just just do it and see what kind of emotional state that puts you in. Along with smiling in the mirror six times a day for a minute for a week, just start busting out laughing three times a day for no reason at all. Just start laughing at any chance you get and that will dramatically improve your emotional states and bring you more happiness in life. Just laugh, life, is, life isn't so serious. Quit, quit taking it so serious. Now, anyone can continue to feel good when they, all, when they already are feeling good. That, there's no challenge in that. The challenge and the true key to, to making this a consistent pattern and to bringing more happiness and success in your life is to be able to change how you feel whenever you feel bad or when you don't want to feel good, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're just in a bad mood and to be able to change that around and instantly change your physiology and your emotional states, that's where the key is and to bring in long-term happiness and success in your life. And you can do this instantly by changing your physiology. Instantly, you can do this. And it's gonna be a challenge because you might not want to do it at the time. But that's when you know you really should be doing it because when you can do that, you're making quantum leaps in your life. And um, I, another thing to keep in mind here is that we get whatever we focus on. Whatever we focus on is what we end up getting. So. Focus on being happy. Focus on the good things. Don't focus on what upsets you or why it upsets you or who upsets you or puts you in a bad emotional state. Focus on the good emotional states, on what makes you happy, what, what makes you joyful. You know, think about these all day long and that will definitely make a tremendous impact in your life. And another thing is to to be, you know, that inner child, let that loose. You know, if you, if you are walking in the rain, you know, if a child's walking in the rain and they come up on a puddle, what are they gonna do? They're gonna jump in that thing, you know, and start having fun. They're not taking life all seriously. They're gonna have fun, start jumping around in the puddle and splashing everywhere. Yet, if you look at an adult, walking in the rain they might be grumpy because it's raining out and then they and if they accidentally step in the puddle oh they got the it, it's the end of the world whatever you know there's a night and day difference you know start bringing that inner child out and enjoying life because we only get one and i i struggle with this at times a lot of times i'm a future thinker like i'm always like striving for goals because i know that's so important uh to always have a goal to work towards and life is all about expansion um but also you have to enjoy every single moment of the process even the hard and good and bad all of it because it's all good and it's right now is all we have yesterday's gone tomorrow's not guaranteed all we have is right now enjoy the moment and real quick, if this is your first time here and or if you haven't downloaded my free Go Getter Cheat Sheet, I highly encourage you to do so right now. This process is what I've developed after taking my life from being a, a, a former drug addict and spending over five years of my life in prison uh, and then after missing the birth of my twin sons, completely transforming my life and becoming a responsible father and successful entrepreneur. This is everything I've learned in the process that I poured my heart and soul into, what I'm most passionate about life, and I wanna share it with you for free. You can go check it out and download it right here. Thank you for tuning in and hearing me out. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos like it that are gonna help you make these transformations in your life, uh, be sure to check out this playlist right here. And um, if you know anybody that could benefit from hearing this message, please share it with them. You never know what the right message for the right person at the right time 
can do. And I appreciate you greatly. Keep crushing those goals. Keep dominating life. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.